So to build your fins, you're going to need some cardboard. Usually I use like a cereal box or something like that. Sometimes you could use a thicker corrugated cardboard, uh, but sometimes that's a little harder to work with and bends in places you don't necessarily want it to bend. Sometimes cereal box cardboard is a little too thin, so sometimes I double side it. Um, I found some nice cardboard. It's decently thick, it's not extremely thick, um, but it'll work and so I can make all four of my fins out of uh, this one bit of cardboard. When I make my fins, I want to make them all identical. So I'm going to make one, trace it, and or cut it out, trace it uh, for my other three fins and then they'll all be the exact same. <laughs> So once you're done cutting out all of your fins, um, I traced them, I cut them out so they're all identical. The next thing I'm going to do is on the opposite end of my nose cone, I'm going to draw a couple lines and that's where I'm going to put my fins. So with my fins, I drew the line, I used a ruler, and I'm going to use hot glue to put my fin on that line exactly. All right. That way, uh, it's lined up and it's going straight up the rocket. Otherwise, if I had it crooked or something, it would make my fin crooked and it'd be hard to glue it on there. Um, but it all would also affect the flight of the rocket. So we want to make sure that our fins are straight up and down, uh, going basically parallel with the rocket. All right. So I'm going to use hot glue. If you don't have hot glue, you could use uh, duct tape or tape or something like that. Um, but I think it's best to use hot glue if you've got it. So with my hot glue, I'm going to put it on the line. I'm going to put it pretty thick on the line there. Once I have it on the line, I don't run out of glue. Then I'm going to take a fin and stick it right on that line. I want it to be lined up. So I didn't get glue completely down the line. But that's all right, I can come back and put more. So I'm just gonna hold it there, count to probably 20 or 30. Once it is mostly dry, then I can, might come back and touch up a couple areas. Um, and I'm gonna do that for each of the fins, okay? Before I do the next one, I'm gonna make sure that it is uh, dry, hasn't moved, and it's lined straight up the rocket. 